Hey, what's up guys? Josh here, Fugitech, and for something that's been around for such a long while, it's no surprise that it can still be a mystery to some. But believe it or not, wireless charging technology, or at least the working concept of it, has been around since the late 19th century, but it never came to fruition up until recent years. Today, this technology can be commonly found in our smartphones, wireless earphones, and yes, even your dad's wireless toothbrush. But what is it really? How does it work? And what can we expect from it in the coming years? Well, let's take a quick dive. Now, how does wireless charging work? Wireless charging is the ability to juice up your devices without having to plug in a single cable. This generally works by transferring energy from the charger to a receiver in the back of the phone through electromagnetic induction. Interestingly, induction cooktops and wireless phone chargers are based on that same technology. Now, there have been different iterations of this, but the most common you've probably heard, or at least in the consumer tech industry, is Qi wireless charging. Qi is a standard for wireless energy transmission and is powered by that same technology we just talked about earlier. Today, hundreds of devices are Qi certified, mostly reserved for the high-end flagship devices, although we have high hopes to see them trickle down to the more affordable categories. A quick way to find out if you can wirelessly charge is if your device carries the Qi logo. If your device has it, then you'll be able to charge with the Qi standard. Fun fact, one of the first smartphone devices to come out with this technology was Palm back in 2009 with their Touchstone wireless charging kit, as well as the Nokia with their Lumia 920 and 928 in 2012. But as of now, we still consider wireless charging to be in its early stages. If you're looking into it though, here are a couple of pros. For one, it's much more simple than having to plug in your charging cable. I remember a few years back, we still had to physically align the device to the receiver for it to work. But with most of those issues resolved, Charging your phone is just as easy as plopping it mindlessly into your charging mat. Another, it puts less strain on the charging port of your phone. Now, even though charging ports are designed to handle the constant force of plugging and removing, it's still common for these areas to loosen up over time. As a bonus, you'll be lessening scratches on your device's charging port as well. And lastly, if you have a working desk, it keeps things less cluttered by having fewer wires to get tangled in. Sure, these things do still have wires, but it can easily be tucked away along with your other cables. Now, of course, everything is not perfect. There are still quite a few issues that might get in the way of you enjoying your experience. A big caveat right now is that wireless charging is still not up to par compared to just plugging it in traditionally. With charging adapters and smartphones capable of up to 50 to 100 watts fast charging, there's still a bit of catching up to do in the wireless charging department, but we are seeing great improvements. Like Huawei's wireless supercharge that's capable of up to 40 to 50 watts of charging power. And that's a big jump from the standard 5 to 15 watt pads I've seen in the past few years. So it shouldn't be too long until these guys become close to their wired counterparts, if not just as good. The second and probably the most vexing problem is the simple fact that you have to keep your device on the power mat or else it stops charging. Qi relies tightly on coupled technology, low frequency, and limited in-band communication. This means that your device stops charging the moment you take it away from its charging pad. So if you're fond of using your phone right before you sleep, you won't be able to charge simultaneously, which sucks. And finally, not all phones support wireless charging. Love it or hate it, most phones that support this feature belong to higher spec flagship devices. And to be frank, not everybody has one. A common workaround that people do is to get an older flagship model instead. It might not be the latest hardware-wise, but it should have some of the bells and whistles you're looking for, including wireless charging support. If you're looking for solid options, we'll leave a link down below. The adoption of wireless charging has rapidly increased, but true wireless charging has remained a pipe dream for many years. As cable-free as it may seem, a lot of people don't consider this to be truly wireless simply because it still requires some form of physical connection. But in recent news, Xiaomi revealed that they were working on a truly wireless charging technology called Mi Air Charge. It's capable of charging multiple devices across the room without the need of a cable or charging pad. The only problem is, power delivery is still very limited, only able to charge at a rate of 5 watts per device, which is a far cry from the charging standards of today. It is a big advancement though, considering the fact that they're not the only companies working on something similar. Now, what can we expect in the future? With technology advancing by the minute, it's no longer hard to picture wireless charging as the next standard for powering our mobile phones and possibly our non-smartphone devices as well. The world has been constantly pushing for cable-free technology. From cordless phones, TWS earphones, to even wireless charging electric vehicles, it seems that we've been heading this direction this whole time anyway. In a few years, there might even be a chance that our devices could all be fully untethered. But until then, perhaps a mix of both wired and wireless charging is enough to get you the best of both worlds. Now, let me throw the question to you. 
What do you guys think about wireless charging? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh. Stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next one.